Rangers Revival earned Steve McLaren the Manager of the Month award for October, whilst his opposite number Thomas Frank picked up his first win as B's boss last weekend. That was in a derby too, as Millwall were put to the sword. Just two points between these teams ahead of kickoff. March 2016, drawn one, lost three since then. Crackling atmosphere inside Loftus Road, as you would expect for a game of this magnitude. Here's Luke Freeman nudged off the ball. Referee says no foul. McEachern leading the charge. And here's Sergi Canyos going for goal. He needed a touch from Lumley to turn it round for a corner, but that's a really poor clearance from Bentley. Now, can they take advantage here, Rangers? Naki Wells. It's going to be Ben Rama to take the corner. Very easily fielded by the goalkeeper. And again, he's looking to get it out as quickly as he possibly can so that QPR can use their pace to get forward. Wells again. Feeling an obligation to attack given that it's a derby. Lovely control by Luke Freeman. Bidwell, decent ball that. Brentford struggling to get it away. Chance for a shot from range, maybe. Oh. Carried a goal threat when they've come forward thus far, though. And that's a good hit from Yanaris. And Mope on the follow up heads it in. And the flag stays down. And Brentford take the lead. And it's the Championship's main man who's got it. 12 for the season for Neil Mopé. And at the midway point in the first half, it's the visitors who strike first. Goalkeeper pushed it back out into trouble. And Mopé said, thank you very much. He doesn't miss those kind of chances. Super right footer, but it looks as though it's going to be swung in by the left. Indeed it is. Freeman dabbed it forward. Goalkeeper's lost it. Problem there for Bentley. Still, they haven't got it clear. Brentford can finally get it to safety. It's a good looking ball in the header. Touched on. Is it going to cross the line? Kicked away before it could. Bidwell. Brentford's goal living a charm life at the moment. Forced into a substitution after Mopay went off with first half stoppage time. That has on them. So he's quick to win it back for the visitors. And can they get a second goal here, Brentford? Right across the face from Canyos. He's let down the line for Freeman. Decent cut back. It's come back. Freeman's way off the post. Surely it's going to be in this time. Massimo Luongo. Inaris. Bobby Baggio. Good run this. Still going. Goalkeeper's lost it. And we've got it at the second time of asking. Canyos perhaps should have turned that in on the rebound. That's a great free kick. And it's going to be touched in by Joel Lynch. For two. Half an hour left in the game. Vizlek, Rob Dodu Bajo. This could be three, it is! Naki Wells! Three. Here's McEachern for them. And wins in ten away games before this for the Bees. And could be set for defeat here, although Canyos might be able to get them back in it. And then Ben Rama's shot. Well held, not at least. He did beat as good as the manager in the cup way back in 2002. This team well set for three points and they could seal it here. And side netting rather than Rama. No foul according to the referee. Canyos going on. Here's Odi Bajo. Now for 
for Brentford was set up a grandstand finish. Josh De Silva, the substitute, being up judge the other replacement. Here's Romain Sawyers. It's a good ball from Sawyers. Dalsgaard, 3 2. Game on. Nine minutes plus stoppages to play. And Henrik Dalsgaard reduces the deficit to just one. They played on despite having a man down. Really clever run from Dalsgaard. Sawyer spotted it. A seesaw game, a really thrilling contest. Is there going to be late drama? No, there isn't. There's the final whistle.